Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about the standard units of physical quantities. This will be the first quarter topic and learning competency number 7. This lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to first identify the base units in the international system of units and their definitions. The second one is to provide step-by-step -step examples of converting between various of SI units. And the third one is to appreciate the global standardization of measurement units and the role they play in scientific communication and collaboration. In activating prior knowledge, ask the students the following questions. Can you share some examples of different physical quantities that we measure in our everyday lives or in science? And what are some of the common units used to measure those quantities? Then ask another question. Now let's talk about your experiences with collecting and recording data, whether it's been during science experiments or in, in your everyday life. Can you share some examples of times when you had to measure and record different physical quantities? <music> And for the third question, how did you decide which units to use when measuring the quantity? And why did you choose those particular units? In establishing purpose of the lesson, for the lesson purpose, explain that today's lesson will focus on developing skills for accurately measuring physical quantities organizing data, and understanding the components of a solution. And then you explain to the learners that the lesson is about making accurate measurement using standard units of physical quantities. For the unlocking of content vocabulary, so we are going to use the match type activity. In developing and deepening of understanding, so we are going to introduce the international system of units first. So the international system of units, commonly referred to us as the SI, is the standardized system of the measurement used around the world. So it was developed to provide a consistent and precise way of quantifying different physical quantities. The following are the importance of using standard units for consistency and precision in science. Using standard units is crucial in the field of science as it allows for consistent and reliable measurement. When scientists and researchers use the same standardized units, it enables them to accurately compare data, replicate the experiments and build upon each other's work. This consistency and precision is essential for the advancement of scientific knowledge. The following are the seven base SI units and the brief definition and description. The first one is the meter, the base unit of length in the SI system. It is defined as the distance traveled by light in a vacuum over a time interval of a 1299792458 of a second. 
Another base SI unit is the kilogram, the base unit of the mass in the SI system. It is defined by the international prototype of the kilogram, a platinum iridium cylinder, keep at the International Bureau of Weights and Measures. Another SI unit is the second, the base unit of time in the SI system. It is defined as the duration of 9,192,631,770 periods of the radiation corresponding to the transition between the two hyperfine levels of the ground state of the cesium-133 atom. Another SI unit is the ampere, the base unit of electrical current in the SI system. It is defined as the constant flow of one column of electrical charge per second. Another SI unit is the Kelvin, the base unit of thermodynamic temperature in the SI system. It is defined as the fraction of 1 over 273.16 of the thermodynamic temperature of the triple point of water. Another SI unit is the mole, the base unit of the amount of substance in the SI system. It is defined as the amount of substance that contains exactly 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23 elementary entities, which can be atoms, molecules, ions, or electrons. In addition to the seven base SI units, there are many other units that can be derived by combining the base units in specific ways. These derived units allows us to measure and quantify a wide range of physical quantities beyond just the fundamental ones. The following are the common derived SI units and how they are defined. The SI system uses a series of prefixes to indicate the magnitude of a unit. These prefixes allow us to express very large or very small quantities using the base units. The following are the prefix symbol and the meaning. The following are the importance and application of SI units. The first one is the advantages of using the standard units. First is the consistency. The SI system provides a standardized, globally recognized set of units. And then the second one is precision. Standard units allow for accurate and producible measurements. And the third one is comparability. So using the same units enable scientists and researchers to compare data and findings. Another importance of application of SI units is the real-world application of SI units in the science and the research, measuring the length, the mass, time, temperature, and other physical quantities in the experiments, and reporting scientific data and findings using the SI units. 
Another one is the real-world application of SI units in engineering and technology. So designing and manufacturing products with precise dimensions and specifications and calculating and reporting energy usage, power output, and other engineering metrics. And another one is the real-world applications of SI units in everyday life, measuring and reporting the weight, volume, and distance in daily activities, and tracking time, temperature, and other quantities in our personal lives.